Hello, I uh, hope you're all doing really well. My name is Arnold and I'll be doing today's devotional. We will be looking at John chapter 18 from verse 1 to verse 24. And we're going to have a little bit of a contrast between Jesus and Peter. Hopefully this will come across as encouraging to a few people. In one part of this story, what's gone on is Jesus has actually just been carried uh, by the Roman guards to the high priest and uh, they're planning his execution. Peter and John are following behind. Now, Jesus is with the high priest and he is being questioned. Peter is uh, about to enter the courts of the high priest. In that particular moment, Peter denies Jesus. The woman, there was a girl who was guarding the door and Peter denied Jesus when she asked him, wait, you're not one of his disciples, are you? He said, no. Um, and now Jesus was being questioned about the things that he said. And he didn't deny the things that he said um, and was struck by it. He was hit. Somebody hit him uh, because of the things that he said. Peter, in fear rejected the calling of God for him in that particular moment to be somebody who stands for God. We are called as Christians to not deny Jesus, but to accept him always, regardless of the situation. And Peter denied um, and he denied because of fear. And the reward that he got was convenience. He was it was things was convenient for him. Things was comfortable for him as well. And he was able to still enter the court. He was able to still do what he wanted to do. He had what seemed to be autonomy regardless. Jesus stood up for what was right and was the more righteous person in that situation. And he was beaten because of it. And in fact, things got worse for him. Things got seemingly better for Peter and things got worse for Jesus. How do we take this situation? You know, there might actually be some of you who feel quite disappointed, maybe even betrayed by God because of the fact that you have stood up for or done something that you really believe God has called you to. And you really felt as though, do you know what, God is calling me to do this thing. And you've been really disappointed because the other option, though it seemed more attractive and you decided, you know what, I'm going to go with the Jesus option has the other option would have been more convenient and more comforting and probably better off. And this one might have even felt as though things have gotten worse. Maybe you're making a lot less money than you could have. Uh, maybe uh, relationships have broken down. Maybe things have been lost. I, I don't know what it is, honestly. And I, I, I can't even uh, completely fully grasp what it might be that uh, the pain that you might be feeling. And in all honesty, I, I cannot tell you how things will be in the future. But one thing we can see here is that a, a similar situation has happened and Jesus gets it. Jesus understands it. And it's not hidden from the Bible. Standing up for God can lead to uncomfortable, inconvenient, sometimes hurtful and painful consequences and denying God or denying the call or whatever, whatever it is that has led, that has the potential to deny or can lead to comfort, wealth, uh, maybe relationships, stuff like that. Jesus gets it. He understands it. It's here. We can see it. The good thing is that it, the Book of John doesn't have a full stop there and then you go on to the book of Acts. That's not what happens, thank God. The story continues. Things continue to get worse for Jesus. But once he has done that, the burst, the ripple effect of his obedience has magnificent impact, not only on himself, being the person that inherits all wealth, um, and all relationship, like beautiful relationship with the Father, but has also really supported all people. So many people have benefited from Jesus's obedience. And no one benefited from Peter's denial. 
except for himself, for a momentary moment, a very small amount of time. Do not feel as though God has led you away and has abandoned you. Jesus gets it. Obedience and trust that there is a hope in the future and there is a purpose as to why God chose you specifically to do that. Be blessed and see you in tomorrow's devotion.